bitch, I'm down bad, beat him with the bat, hashtag that yeah. I call the new jack, yeah, yeah, bitch, I got the blue jack, yeah I'm at the catch talk, I got a new house, you wanna get in, he the man coach, man. 225 on the dash, bro, nigga Yo, before we even get into this video, make sure you guys be a part of the notification gang so you be the first to know when I drop that hot fire. Like I said, hit that notifications up so you can be the first to know. What it do, Pack Nation? What it do, FDG crew? That's free to goats. Now, today your boy OG is about to let you guys in on a secret on how to wrap up a little bit faster than usual. Now, there are certain factors that 2K has when it comes to this rep up gang, all right? So if you're trying to get to that superstar, you're trying to get on that jetpack, you're trying to be a skateboard and fool around the park, listen to what your boy got to say. Now, factor one into repping up is your amount of wins. So like I said in previous videos that it doesn't really matter about your losses. It doesn't really matter about your win-loss ratio. All it matters about you winning. So if you one of them guys out there with nobody to play with and you're playing by yourself, you want to make sure daily you're getting at least 75 to 100 wins. Yes, that means you're going to have to play about 300, 400 games, but that's what you guys do anyway. You play the park all day long, all night long, so you should be playing at least 200 games. So you want to make sure you get about 75 to about 100 wins a day, definitely if you're playing solo. Now, if you want to know guys like me who got a crew, who got some boys with you, you guys can easily rep up, bro. You can easily go from about 20% to about 50% in a night if you keep it up. So it's all about amount of wins. So if you guys have a problem with winning, you struggle with winning, I have a tip video for you guys. I will have the annotation up in the right hand corner of the screen so go hit that and go check out how to get on streaks and how to get on streaks fast all right so the second factor or major key these are major keys so the second major key of getting this rep is your teammate and your opponent's grade so it's not just your grade yes you could be out there getting a pluses you can average an a but if your teammates are out there slumming if they out there subpar below average then you're not going to get the full amount of rep that you should get for one game. So make sure that your teammates are also getting these A plus twos. And make sure your opponents is also suffering, getting these Ds, getting these Ds and E's and getting even kicked out the game. There's nothing I, more, I love more than having my opponent getting kicked out the game because I'm over there ripping him a new hole, bro. That is my favorite thing to do. So make sure that's what's happening, all right? Make sure your teammates are also getting A's with you, and make sure your opponents are getting D's and C's, all right? Because that's going to give you more percentage added on at the end of the game. So third, you want to make sure when you're traveling to other parks that you are not losing. This is key because losing on rivals' parks, you can lose a little bit of percentage, so let's say you have an A-plus, you out there balling with 11 points, you say you get three assists, and you lose. You will not get that full percentage that you would have got if you would have won. So losing on rival courts is a no-no. You don't want to do that because it's going to take some of your percentage away. Also, quitting games and poor teammate grades, well, that speaks for itself. If you're doing that anyway, you're probably not going to wrap up. All right, so that speaks for itself. I don't want to get into that. So another thing is you also want to stay away from holding the ball too long and also fouling. These are grade decreasers. I'm talking about foul alone, I think, would take down your grade, a letter grade. And also holding the ball would take it down almost a letter grade. So these are two things you do not want to do. Stay away from this when you're playing. Just play good defense. You can get good defense, good shot contest without reaching. Now, if the ball's right there, okay, reach at it. But if you don't have to reach, please do not reach. Fouling is the one that well, the number one killer of grades. So you just want to stop reaching and also stop holding the ball, pass the ball around, because that goes hand in hand with your teammate grade. If you're passing the ball around and not holding it too long. You should get an A, your teammate should get an A, okay? Another big key, or major key, 
I should say, is winning against higher ranked players will earn you a little bit more percentage at the end of the game than it will when you beat lower ranked players. All right, so when you're facing up against these superstars, get go in there, go in there with confidence, go in there like you're gonna win. Because even if you lose against higher ranked players, it's not gonna be that bad as if as if you was losing to lower ranked players. So you want to play these superstars. You want to play. I know a lot of you guys get scared. You get shook up. Like, oh, God, superstar foe. I can't play him. No, you want to get on the court because he betters your chances of wrapping up. All right? Now, playing rookie ones and rookie twos, brown shirt, doo-doo shirts, and pros and stuff, it's not going to help you level up fast. Yes, it would get you wins. Yes, it put you on a win streak, but it's not going to help you level up. And our main goal, I know everybody out there, they want to be a legend. They want to be immortalized in NBA 2K18. And if you see how some of these bars move, you will understand. It's going to be a grind. So you want to make sure you're ready for the grind. You want to take every opportunity that you can to rep up and rep up fast. So right now, that's all the tips I have for you in this video. Like I said before, um, make sure you go check out that video on how to win and how to get on streaks a lot faster. The link should be in the description. It also should have been in a annotation or a little card in the beginning of the video. If not, like I said before, it's going to be in the description. So if you're new, go ahead and leave a sub for your boy. If you like content like this, you like me helping you guys out like this, go ahead and hit that like button up for your boy. And third, go ahead and comment down below. What do you think? You think this guy, you think this is very helpful to you guys or you don't? Just let me know in the comment section down below. I read all my comments. So I will go back to replying to you guys' comments. So just keep commenting down below. I, I will comment. It may be two days, three days, four days late, but I enjoy your guys' comments. So until the next time, it's your boy OG. And I'm out. Peace. Peace.